Hi, welcome back to DS Tech Mirror. For those who are new to this channel, here is a quick heads up. This channel is dedicated to deliver training content related to SharePoint customizations. In this video, we will be seeing how to set up Google Analytics. Google Analytics is a free software provided by Google and it helps business in tracking many important metrics like online marketing strategies, site content, user experience, etc. Now why we need Google Analytics? It mainly helps us in getting information needed to improve the website and make it the best it can be. So without wasting time, let us see how to set up Google Analytics. On your browser, navigate to the Analytics site. It will be redirected to the Marketing Platform site. And from here, you will be able to see Start for Free button. Click on that. On the next provisioning page, you will be able to see another button which allows you to set it up for free. Google Analytics do gives a lot of free tools for us to analyze data and to improve our business. So, on clicking off this button, you'll be navigated to provide the information to set up the Google Analytics account. Let me provide the account name. For one account, we can have more than one tracking ID. It means with this account, after this account is created, we will be provided with a tracking ID. And we also have a chance to create multiple tracking IDs, which allows us to track the information in our website in a better way. By default, the recommended options are checked. Each of these recommended options provide us free facilities that is authorized by Google Analytics. To know more about these features, you can go through the description over here, which is very clear. On click of the next, we will be getting further options, which determines the object that you want to measure, whether it might be a website or app or both apps and website. This shows the extensibility of Google Analytics. It can gather data from almost all devices, whether it is an app in mobile devices or it is a website. Now I'm going to go with the web option. On click of the next, here we would require to enter the property detail. In the previous option, we have provided the object that we have to measure. Here in the next option, we will be providing the property details for that object. Here I have to provide the website for which the analytic information has to be measured. I'm going to choose this website for measuring the analytics information. DS Tech Mirror Tutorials and the corresponding website URL. The industry category or which category does the website belongs to. Whether it is an arts and entertainment related website or beauty or books. There are a couple of options provided by Google Analytics here. If uh, your website doesn't belong to any other categories, you can select other. Let me select business and industrial markets. And it is important to provide the reporting time over here. Before moving on to the create, let me correct this URL. Since uh, the H HTTP header is already provided, we have to provide only the rest of the URL elements. On clicking off create, we are uh, getting the agreements pop up. Let me accept these uh, agreements. After accepting, you can see there is a prompt success and I'm navigated to the product information page. So it is good that you select and these are optional. If you uncheck all of them also, it is okay. 
all the other product informations are popping onto my Google Analytics page. Once Google Analytics account configuration or creation is completed, you will be get getting this tracking ID. This is a unique ID and it is specific to your website. In order to track the information of, from your website, you have to embed this particular code under the header section of every web page. This particular piece of code is called the global site tag. If your website consists of only one page or few pages, then global site tag is enough to, to gather all the necessary information from your website. Suppose if your business website consists of several other businesses, which in general consists of 50 sites each, then you can go with multiple accounts to manage each and every business of yours. There is no right and wrong ways to configure Google Analytics to your website. Down the lane, you will be able to change the name of your accounts and property names. But remember, you cannot move one property to another account property. If you would like to add more tags to your website in order to track the data better, then you can go with creating Google Tag Manager. This Google Tag Manager is also a free software provided by the Google and it helps us to manage different tags in one place. And in order to create Google Tag Manager, click on this link. So it has navigated to a tag manager portal where similar to Google Analytics, you have to click here to start uh, configuring Google Tag Manager. The configuration is similar to Google Analytics. Here it is asking for the account name. I will be providing the same account name as the Analytics account name. If you want to verify, you can go over here, check on the account name. If you want to share the data anonymously with Google, then you can select this. Setting up the container. Container is like a encapsulation of all your tags and other properties, objects that you will be creating under this container. Just make sure to give proper naming convention so that later it will be a readable and understandable naming convention that will relate you to the website for which you have created this Google Analytics. Here also you have to select the target platform and accept the service agreement. Yes. The tag manager is now created just like the Google Analytics global tag script. Here we have two scripts. One have to be pasted under the header section and the other one under the body section of every web page. So similar to the analytics dashboard, we have a Google Tag Manager dashboard and the Google Tag Manager scripts that we just saw can be accessed from here anytime. And this is the unique ID for our Tag Manager account that we have created. You can create new tags over here. It provides us different tag types, whether it is a Google Analytics uni Universal Analytics or uh, only app and web event app and web configuration, whether it is Google Ads, Remarking, Floodlight, Google Optimize, etc. I'm going with Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. And the track type would be, yes, I would like to track my page views. 
The other uh, track types are event, transaction, social, timing, decorate link and decorate for. And under Google Analytics settings, click a new variable. Here, you have to provide the tracking ID of your Google Analytics. This is where your Google Tag Manager is being connected with the Google Analytics account that we have created. And you can provide more settings if you would like. Once you're done, save it. And the variable name. If you're not creating any variables, you can also uh, enter your tracking ID over here. Then you have to choose the triggering. The triggering can be anything as simple as the page view. Right now, I have chosen the tag type as the Google Analytics tracking, which is predominantly on the page views. So here I have only one option of the trigger, which is the page view. You can add an exception to some of the pages over here and save it. A tag has been created. You can create multiple tags and multiple triggers for the tags and variables accordingly in this tag manager. Uh, let me submit. So this is dashboard. It provides us all the information that we have done on this tag manager. And at any time you can go back and you can modify your tag trigger or variable to suit your requirement. Now moving back to analytics, it also provides us additional implementations apart from this global site tag and the tag manager that we saw just now. We have analytics.js and measurement protocol. We have created analytics uh, account. We have got the tracking ID. We have also configured the Google Tag Manager. Now, as a last few steps, we can also go and set goals to our websites. Under admin settings, you can click on goals over here. And here you can create new goal. The goal provides a list of predefined templates under different categories, revenue, acquisition, inquiry, engagement. So depending upon which category it suits you, you can select any one of the choice or you can create a custom template if you would like. Continue. Set a goal description, goal slot ID. Here you can see goal ID up to 20. You can set up to 20 goals for one account goal type i would select duration continue you can set a duration and add monetary value conversion if you would like on and then you convert it you can always verify this goal before saving your settings and this uh Goal verification applies on the data that is picked up from the last seven days only. So we have created one goal and 19 goals left to be created. Next, we can see how to create a site search settings. It helps us to track user searches in our website. For that, go to view settings. Under the same admin settings, when you scroll down, you can see 
an option over here which is called Site Search Settings. Switch it on. Under the Query Parameter, you have to provide the query. If you're not aware of this query parameter, you can just go to your site and perform a search and then you can include the query parameter over here. And you can also provide site search categories also. On clicking of the save, this search site tracking option will be saved and it starts to track the user searches. That's all for this video guys. We have seen how to create Google Analytics account. We have seen how to create Google Tag Manager account and how we can obtain scripts that we can embed in different web pages in order to track web page information. We also saw how to create goals, how to enable site uh, search settings. If you like the content presented in this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. As I said, this channel is dedicated to deliver content related to SharePoint customizations. Much love, keep learning.